Okay, let's continue. But be careful. I'm sensing that some students are trying to fall asleep while I'm teaching. Hey, you there! Stop it! Wake up! Okay, let's go, let's go. So, circle is our next shape. Ah. Good. Here we want to know how to find the area of the circle and even the perimeter. For the sake of time, I'm sorry, I'm not going to prove, but I'll just give you the formulas. I hope you know those formulas. So I'm going to give you and I'll do a couple of examples at least to reinforce the understanding. Uh, actually, circle uh, the shape which is having a length which is called diameter call it D and we have radius R so here it is It is given that the area is given by pi r square, but the perimeter of the circle is famously known to be circumference, so circumference denoted by c is equal to 2 pi r, but again, uh, the fact is that diameter equals to twice times the radius. Here, uh, D is representing diameter, and R is representing radius of the circle. So F. I have skipped to drive this kind of formulas now uh, because I don't want to waste time. So example one. Uh, find the area of a circle whose Diameter is whose diameter is what you can say whose diameter is ten centimeter use pi equals to three point one four solution. So if you collect the data, uh, you are given that diameter is equal to 10 centimeter this makes radius to be equal to uh, 5 centimeter but pi is given to be 3.14 uh, constant pi so with those informations you can find the area of a circle described in the example number one. So from area equals to pi r square, this is supposed to be equals to 3.14 times 5 square. So it will be 3.14 times 25 some sort of centimeter square students you can proceed here myself i'm not going out i don't know how to calculate this one using my head but here now again i do have a calculator but i think you can finish with this one at the end of the day the answer you get will be the area of the circle so you can finish it yourself try it your own time okay example Two. 
find the perimeter, no, find the circumference, find the circumference of the circle. whose radius is uh, 14 cm use pi equals to 27, 22 over 7 solution to this kind of example solution from this example you are given radius equals to 7 cm but pi equals to 22 over 7 so from the formula that circumference equals to 2 pi r is supposed to be 2 times pi is 22 over 7 and r is uh, wow I'm sorry here radius is 7 but actually it is 14 centimeter 2 times 14 centimeter what you get you can simplify 14 in 7 so you have 2 times 22 times 2 again so you get centimeter squares this is like 22 times 4 hope you get uh, 8 8 centimeter square so this will be the circumference of the circle whose radius is uh, 14 centimeter thank you this is how i can present uh, when it comes to circle finding areas and perimeter even though examples are very simple but uh, i want you to give basics when it comes to finding l and perimeters uh, i hope you'll get more uh, technical and even uh, questions which are mind digesting ones you get those kind of questions to make sure that uh, you reinforce your understanding thank you for the time okay we have a new thing now to discuss a new thing students believe me new things what is that you know, it's a very important part of the lesson uh, which want to connect the ideas of similar figures with areas. What I'm saying? The idea of similar figures with areas. So our title is going to be uh, Areas of Similar Figures. There are a lot of kind of features like triangles, rectangles, squares, trapeziums, pyrograms, circles, irregular polygons, so many kind of features. Some with common names and even some with uncommon names, even some with names we don't know. So here our intention is to check the area of similar features. But we're not going to discuss for any kind of figure. We'll take triangle as an example, as a model example, or I can say as a case study. So area of similar figures and case study. Case study will be areas of similar triangles. So it is my interest to use triangles to discuss uh, the issue of areas of similar figures. But you can even take area of similar circles. You can even take areas of similar trapeziums. That's no problem. But you have to uh, focus 
our area of similar figures or uh, similar triangles I'm sorry as our case study the way we are going to uh, drill this uh, area of similar triangles will be the same for area of similar circles will be the same for area of similar trapeziums and so forth so this is just case study okay look at the following triangles which are similar by the way Uh, so these two triangles are thinner and as you can see uh, both of them are right angled triangles call this vertex A and this one B and this one C this one P this one is Q this one is R I'm sorry for my writing let me correct this one so this is P good Okay, suppose this triangle ABC, the area of this triangle, suppose that it is area 1. And suppose the triangle PQR, the area is area 2. If the interest is to find the area of triangle ABC, then the area will be A1, which is going to be formed by A1 equals to a half times base, base, which is BC, times height, which is AB. This, please call it equation 1. Can you do the same? Can you write the similar equation for triangle PQR? I hope you do. And it will be uh, area 2 equals to a half times the base, base which is QR, times the height, height which is P, PQ. Please call this one second equation. What are we going to do is to link, to make a connection between the area of the triangle ABC and the area of triangle PQR. Large triangle versus small triangle. How can we link the areas of the two shapes? So we are going to link or connect the areas by doing this. Here you divide equation 1 by 2. So if you divide left hand side, divide left hand side, and right hand side divides right and side. That is the principle you have to follow. Okay, so after dividing, this becomes a 1 divided by a 2. Here becomes a half. Uh, not A, sorry, becomes a half uh, BC times AB divided by a half times QR times P Q. What happened that this a half divides by a half will be cancelled. So we have a1 over a2. But you can you can rearrange that BC take back BC over QR. Close it in. You set the bracket. And again it will be AB divided by PQ. Good. What next? So recall that for similar figures or for similar triangles, 
for similar triangles, ratio of corresponding sides remain constant, remain the same. Ratio of corresponding sides remain the same. That's the principle we are always using when we deal with similar figures. And because these two triangles we assume to be similar, so we have to use that principle in order to uh, at least simplify our equation, the combined one here. So following this, the principle of similar figure that the, if two triangles are similar, then the ratio of corresponding sides will be constant. So we believe that by that principle, if you take AB divided by corresponding sides of AB is PQ. So divided by PQ will be equals to constant. And again, it is also true that if you take side BC divided by corresponding side of BC is QR. You get the same value, K. That's the principle. It's not me who is trying to say this. It is principle that is obtained from the concept of similar figures. I think you can remember this one because it is covered in form 2. So uh, when two triangles are similar, the ratio of corresponding sides must be constant. That's what I'm trying to say here. Now, if you check these ratios, you can take these ratios and substitute back into the equation. For example, BC over QR is this one. So BC over QR gives you K. So I want to replace this portion. The whole of the ratio here is K. And again, AB over PQ, this one, AB over PQ, students, AB over PQ gives you K. So here, the ratio is K, and this one also is K. So we have to substitute and simplify. So if you substitute, uh, you will find that uh, A1 over A2 will become K times K. So A1 over A2 will be equal to K square. And this is the fact that we want. This is very important. What do these relations tell you, students? The, the formula is trying to communicate with you that uh, so I can write this one in words that the ratio of areas of similar figures is given by the square of proportionality constant the ratio of areas of similar figures is given by the ratio it's given by sorry it's given by the square of the proportionality constant k you take this one, it is like a rule, it is like a rule, it is like a rule, it is like a principle of which you have to use when it comes to uh, trying to relate the area of two similar figures. We have used the triangle as a case study, but this formula is holding true for any two similar figures. It doesn't matter whether the figures are trapezium, the figures are the circles, the figures are squares, doesn't matter. This formula now is very general. We have derived this one using triangles, but you can drive your own using uh, any kind of shapes as long as they are similar figures. Thank you for today.
Okay, so with areas of similar features, students, now what I'm going to do is to show you how you can do some kind of examples which is concerning with two figures which are similar and intention is to connect or to link two areas as long as the figures are similar. Let's check examples. We'll start with example number one. Okay, so at least I have succeeded to write that example. Uh, so here you are given the ratio of the areas of two similar circles. The ratio is given to be 50 by 72. 50 by 72. So you are told that if the radius of the smaller circle is 15 cm, find the radius of the larger circle. Here the question is simple if you know that these two circles are similar. So I can try to sketch with the solution that you have a larger circle and you have a smaller circle. This circle say it is having a radius R1, the larger one. And this small circle say the radius is R2. But again, Suppose that the area of this circle is area 1 and the area of this small circle, suppose it is also area 2. Uh, here you have to use the fact that uh, because these two circles are similar, because these two circles are similar, so the fact that we have seen is that the ratio of the areas of the two shapes will be given by the square of the proportionality constant. So the fact is that uh, if you take area 1 divided by area 2 will be equal to k square. Will be given by k square. But here you have to observe your ratio. This ratio uh, it is 50 by 72. So it was a small triangle versus ridge. Um, it's not a triangle, but, but to be to be honest, it is a circle. So it is a small circle by ridge circle. The ratio was calculated by taking the area of the small circle uh, against ridge circle. Why I'm saying that? Because this first number is very small compared to the second number. This is a numerator and this is a denominator. So it means the small triangle was compared uh, against the large triangle. So even though this one is the fact that a1 of a2 is equal to k square but you can try to do the opposite because comparison uh, of similar figures it was done by taking the small triangle against the red one. It's not a triangle. Why do I make a mistake like this? Okay, so it is a circle, a small circle uh, against a, a red circle. So this is supposed to be 
supposed to be uh, area 2 over area 1 equals to k square. So we are going to opt for this, but not this one, because area 1 is represent area 2 is representing area for a small triangle, and area 1 is representing area for large triangle, large circle, and the ratio given is small versus large. Small versus large. So we have to take small area versus large area. Small area divided by large area, it gives you k square. So with this one, so we can say uh, this ratio is 50 over 72 and it becomes k square. Here what to do is to solve for k. Solve for k. So if you can simplify this one becomes 25 over 36. This becomes k square. After square rooting, you get k equals to the square root of 25 over 36. So k will be equals to 5 over 6. This is the constant, the ratio of corresponding sides. The ratio of corresponding sides. Dear students, the ratio of corresponding sides, k, is going to be represented by these lengths, radius 1 and radius 2. So we say, but k is equal to uh, even also when you find k you have to take small triangle small circle versus large circle because of the ratio the way it was calculated it was small circle against large circle so also for proportionality constant you have to do the same that you take small radius against small large radius small area divided by large area small radius divided by large radius so k equals to r2 divided by r1 but k is given we calculated to be 5 over 6 becomes r2 uh, r2 is radius of the small uh, circle uh, radius of the small circle it was given to be 15 Centimeter. Please refer to the question. Refer to the question. It is 15 centimeter divided by R1. Then, if you can solve this one by crossing multiplication, you get 5 R1 equals to 6 times 15 centimeter. Dividing by 5 by 5, so R1 is equal to uh, 5. It'll be 3, so we get 18. Centimeter. This is the radius of the large circle. You can even compare. It makes sense that radius of large circle is 18 and radius of small circle is 15. Everything makes sense. Thank you for this kind of example. We are going to go with the second one. Okay. So here we go again with the second example. But we want to do examples concerning with area of similar figures. What next is this kind of example number two?
we here again we have uh, similar triangles similar triangles the question reads two triangles are similar uh, a side of one triangle I don't know we, we, large triangle or small triangle but one triangle is having a side of two centimeter long the corresponding side of the other triangle is five centimeter long what is the ratio of their areas so here first is to provide a sketch that you have a triangle maybe you have to draw one large one small one triangle large one triangle small so the area this one call it area one area of this one call it area two but the question says uh, uh, one triangle the length is two centimeter long you can up to this as two centimeter and the corresponding sides of the other is five centimeter okay so here I think uh, you have to use logic that if this is two the corresponding side is this one and it can and this side because it is very short it cannot be five so you have to do the reverse that uh, this two centimeter is for the small triangle two centimeter and this one is for five centimeter corresponding sides okay so here you check that since uh, area one over area two is equal to k square but k will be equal to ratio of corresponding sides if you want to relate area one against area two so the ratio will be five centimeter over two centimeter that will be the ratio so you get k equals to five over two since you have k now take this part of k plug there you will find the ratio of the areas simple that now let's do it uh, so you have area one over area two becomes k square which is five over two squared squared five becomes 25 over two square becomes four so ratio area one ratio area two this becomes 25 ratio four that's what you do